Sure, a lot of lessons. Uh, uh, sure, a lot of lessons. We dissected the, the performance of the team after the, the break. We had a few structural differences after Al Ahly Royal AM, and then we had a FIFA break. What it looked offensively and what it looked after, Swallows, uh, Cape Town City, uh, Golden Agros, even the Netbank Cup, there was a few uh, changes in, 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 in our performance, especially from a positional sense. And then we also had a couple of challenges, of course, and that's normal from a confidence perspective. And, uh, but, but, uh, Today uh, we had to win. You know, we had to win. We arrived uh, from Algeria uh, early yesterday in the morning after 20 hours in in, in transit, and then uh, allowed the players to go home and see their families for a couple of hours and refresh and and, and uh, get ready for for a training session in the evening and then uh, and then camp. And and, uh, and no time. We had no time to prepare for this game except video analysis of, of the opposition, video analysis of our game against uh, Belui Stad, and then some some uh, structural information from uh, from the team meeting. So, hence, hence I say to the to the players, it's incredible what they did today, and I'm very very proud of them because we had very little, if any, preparation for this game. Sure, sure. Like sure, sure. During those um, three draws and obviously um, the Stellenbosch, yeah. um, the, the league was already won, but do you maybe fear that uh, the wins are somehow coming off um, looking ahead of the Champions League? And also, were you maybe in a way taken aback by the response of the fans after that Stellenbosch loss? Because you know, looking on social media, the comments and stuff, a lot of them were a little bit. Hush, maybe I can use that yeah, but that's the life we live in, and uh, that's why it was important to win today. Because when we, we and to tell you the truth, I think we played much better against uh, Cape Town City. I think we played much better against uh, uh, Golden Negros. We played much better against Swallows in Dobsonville, much better than what we played today, and we didn't win. So we know that uh, at Sundowns you have to play well and win. We know that. Uh, but there are times where we have to show that we are champions. We have to grind uh, results a little bit. We have to roll up our sleeves. Uh, people say Rolani's teams don't don't push and get dirty, but Rolani's teams also put a little bit of work today, and they they got dirty, pulled up their socks, crafted and crafted hard, and uh, it's not always going to be pretty. It can't be pretty because it's not a it's not a world of, of realism and perfectionists and and all these things. So, so uh, as I said, very proud of the effort of the players. Um, I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. Rotation is always the best thing. I'm not so sure. I I I I, I, I look at how sometimes the level drops so drastically, and then to 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 elevate the performance levels because. We, you lose a little bit of, of, of mental intensity there, being in camp, concentrating and hyping yourself up mentally to be prepared for the next game and the next game and the next game. And you only have to check the, the, the big teams across the world. I was, I, was, I was looking at Man City for an example. I went, I went to their game against Bayern. I went into their game uh, in the cup, four or five changes, max always. And they play... Uh, Saturday, they play Ch Champions League. Tuesday, they play a, a cup game against Sheffield uh, a couple of days later. It's not a lot of rotation. Kundo is in the lineup. Haaland is in the lineup. Uh, uh, Bernardo is in the lineup. They, 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 play, they, play, they play the games. They play, and this is what players need. They play for momentum, for, for rhythm, and for also this men mental uh, uh, involvement to stay in. Uh, the the season so uh, uh, yeah we have to go the risk on the other hand is is some of the soft tissue niggles nasir keshas a little bit but very proud of keshas and nasir because immediately when there was something they didn't force they they immediately said hey and then prevention is better than cure you make two early subs but that's why we had uh, the bench that we had 
and and we were already anticipating the changes that we had to make even at our time we knew we had uh, ab to start but couldn't give him 90 we knew we had tapel to start but couldn't give him 90. we knew we had uh, mbule to start because M mbule needs needs the games uh, AB has missed a lot of the season. He needs the games. He needs uh, regularity, rhythm. Uh, he needs uh, understanding of how we play and understanding of his teammates. He, he needs that because he's had uh, less minutes than everybody else throughout the season because of injuries and, and, and many other complications at the beginning. So they need the games. They need the regularity. They need the rhythm. And it was good to see them on the pitch. Very, very good. What becomes your response, not in terms of what you rate me, but on the pitch with your team, how does that do you think that there's something that teams are looking at and saying, okay, we're going to take that and do it, how do you then want to? No, no, I, 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 I can't talk about what op the opposition does. The, the opposition can, can, can pre against where you start, the opposition was pressing. They come with three on top of the defensive line. There is there's there's small details, uh, Skepper in the in that against Ellis you can't present an extra player because you've got a, a different profile of a goalkeeper. So who, who creates that extra player? And that's very difficult because when they press with with the three, is now uh, is it a central midfielder to make it uh, three versus three, or, or or you need a goalkeeper to make it a three versus three in the first line? And then the problem is you are short on the other side if you bring a midfielder this side. So the, the, I, I, I need more time with you to unpack this thing because, because uh, what happens on the build-up phase influences what happens as we attack the box. And uh, everything is about the process of getting to the next line, to the next line, to the next line, to the next line. And how do you generate a superiority on your first line of the build-up? Uh, we, we use Ronza. And you see it today how important it is. Because even Richards Bay pressed. They were very aggressive with Barnes, very aggressive with Memela, very aggressive with Songwa. And then there's a little bit of a movement inside from excuse me, from Nsundwana. And then when they go with a four, you go, because you, you've got no Mudiba. So how do you make an extra number? First is Ronza to make it a three with the center backs. And then is, is, is Spitzo and, and Zungu to make it an extra player. And not to comment on this side of the, the, the first line of pressure, but onto that side of the first. So that even if it's a four versus three, but because you trust the ability of, of your center backs plus the keeper to be able to, to bring the ball out and to be the playmakers, once you arrive on the next line, you have possibilities to now say, Matebula, will you jump? Mshongo, will, ja will you jump? And if they jump, then it's uh, the center backs to cover the space behind the central midfielders. So, so everything is, 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 is then a ripple effect of, of the situations where you invite the pressure. So we don't look at pressure as, a, as, a, as an enemy. We actually look at pressure as, as something we want teams to do. We want teams to press us because we have then access on the other side a little bit better. So when, when a lot of people are analyzing our games and say, ah, but they, make, they, they, they lost because this opponent pressed them, this opponent pressed them. It, the pressure is actually a consequence of how we play. And so they, they, there is going to be pressure. What needs to then happen is how do we then progress and find possibilities to, to get through the, the first line of the press without committing far too many numbers on this side so that we can still generate important superiorities in football that are positional, numerical, and, and because we already have 
as we enter most of the, the, the games, qualitative superiority. So so to not lose all these things, we, we, we need the pressure of the opponents. So as I said, it's a lot more detailed than that, but it's day-to-day -day work, is confidence, is wins, and, 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 and to get to, to a space where as we win, we, we, can, we can improve the team and get better. Has it been um, important to Umbrian once I've been a few teams? Sorry, my apologies because. Yeah, no, that's okay because like, obviously the follow up, if it jumps to the other side, then I'm going to bring it back. I can say yes. Yes. We yeah, it's, uh, it's, 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 yeah, we've got so many games to, to, to still play. So I don't want to get too much involved in, in revealing how we play and all these things because there's a lot of detail. We've got a lot of games still to play. There's opposition that listen to my press conferences. They watch our games. So I cannot leave our team completely naked. Uh, the, the coaches must and the analysts must still do their jobs and not just get all this information from me. So I don't want to go too much into that. I promise to answer that question at the end of the season. No. It's like it's life is football. It's, it's like the, the boxer that goes into the ring and and uh, every time he's going to get punched in the face. So is 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 the game of football. He'll he'll be strong. He's there. He's working hard, and I'm sure he will. It's, 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 it's not a serious. It's not a serious issue. No, I don't. I don't think it's a serious thing. Coach, now must announce. Sure, no. Coach, in the, earlier in the season, I know you spoke about that. Yeah, you are not here for records. You're here to show. Sure. And um, first of all, Peter uh, and Rose, um, in South African football, and um, Ronwen obviously not being. Playing today, chasing that human Joseph's uh, record. Um, after the game against against Stellan Bosch, uh, they lost the Lebanon Cup. We spoke on on the block. We spoke about how the difference between just another good season and being great, and how important now after the disappointment of the Lebanon Cup for the same, for you to to surpass the seventy two points and obviously the the big fish. We have to try to win every game. That's the thing now. It's uh, <clears throat> difficult times uh, for us because every game now is a, is a game of consequence. We play against opposition that everyone is playing for something. Uh, they are playing either to to fight relegation, to 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 get into the top eight, to finish second. So many teams are fighting for that second position. So. And then teams that we play against in the Champions League are fighting to win the Champions League. So every game is a game of consequence. That means we have to be at, the, at our best. Every training session, every match, uh, we have to fight. We have to be able to, to, to solve football problems and the dynamics of, of the problems. And even sometimes when we, we are a little bit tired, uh, I watched uh, Man City versus Bayern. Man City tired last 15 minutes, but there's a graft. It, it grows with uh, the team, the personality of the team, the mentality in the team to know that you, you can trust each other in difficult moments and you can suffer together. And, and that was a good example today. So, look, it's, uh, it's not easy. It's tough. It's, uh, it's, 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 it's the, but it's the space uh, Bayern are in. Uh, it's the space um, um, Real Madrid are in. They're trying to, to put pressure on, on Barca. They have to win in the league. They have to win um, in the Champions League. There's there's an intense pressure uh, everywhere. The big clubs get into April trying to 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 play with pressure, and that's where we are. We we we've got a different program. Uh, Mer uh, uh, Richards played played against Meritzburg on the Friday. They had an extra day than us. And traveled um, what is it two hours less from from Devon to Joburg. We traveled. 20 hours from Algeria, uh, Algiers, Cairo, Cairo, South Africa. Uh, the day before, we have to we have to be here. We have to play. We have to, and we have to. No one, no one has time to listen to our excuses. Nobody. So 
where do we go? We go into a space where we have to produce the results. And then when you produce the results, of course, people look, uh, how can we critique? Where are we going to criticize them, uh, criticize them, the performance? Okay, when we play very, very well, where are we going to criticize them? <coughs> the result is football. That's the space. You can't always play well. Similarly, you can't always win. But we, cho we chase playing well all the time, and that doesn't exist, but we still chase it. We chase winning every game. It doesn't exist, but we still chase it. So we, we put ourselves in a very difficult space where either way, we're going to get criticized. And, and sometimes it's harsh. It's, it's harsher than what people you even feel you deserve because you're giving so much. Uh, the players are giving so much. The football club is giving so much to, to, to try to win and to try to be better every single match. But without without criticism, we can never get better. So we use that energy, you know, the, and the, the more criticism, the better, because we use that energy to, 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 to step up and to improve and to improve and to improve because we can't rest on our problems and, and try to think that we, we are the finished product. There's, we are so far away from reaching our potential as a team, so, so, so far. And we have to, we have to work much harder and, and every single day to try to, to be a better side. Coach, just a bit of moment. Um, it's now 17 cases. You call a record of a voting process um, I know you shared away from saying this, but if I were put on the spot now, given that they were almost done, would you say is your player of the season this week? Or among the clear content of the players? Definitely among. And I don't, I, I've said it uh, during match day 19, match day 20. I said, why, what are we waiting for? <laughs> what, what, we, where, when are we going to have this discussion? It's, it's clear that it's, it's Sundown's players in the top three. Why are we not having this discussion already? We're waiting for a surprise to, to come. No, Debza, you should discuss that. Ronald, you should discuss that. And then maybe you open the door for 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 Akashas uh, and maybe other names or Shishi. But, but the Sundown's players have been incredible. And to do what they've done, Consistently, not sometimes and then five games later, some consistently takes a, a, a lot of effort. So, so I know, uh, fortunately, I'm not part of the judging panel, and and uh, but I can tell you that maybe the judges can tell, tell you also if they are very honest that probably this is the easiest this decisions on football of the season they've had in many, many, many years. Well, I've given you that short list, and they've got to just now choose from 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 the three that I've given. Well, actually, I gave you four names, and they've got to choose between the four names. Yes, coach. Uh, can last. Yes. Yeah. Champions League. Yeah. Uh, Champions League. Quarter final. Quarter final. As well as semi final. As well as group stage. As well. Was it a relief? good one uh, when you won 4-1 I know you said it's not done but, but and it's not yes but was it a relief to come up with a good cushion uh, ahead of the game you always score yeah and you played play that before even though they've beaten you but I would think you've got an idea of how and who they are now but was it a relief and is it something that you can have to say because I remember what you said when you lost to Pedro that you should have done out well away so that there wasn't much of an opportunity here. Now, it doesn't look like there is a big chance for the league. Oh, there's a big chance. This is football. You've seen crazier things. You don't, you don't have to go too far back. Um, Manchester City versus Real Madrid. Just last season. You don't have to go too far back. Football teaches you these lessons. There is no chance for us to get complacent. It's not over. And uh, I say this to the players, I'm not just saying it to you, I'm saying it to the players, but we've done an incredible, incredible effort to put ourselves in the position that we've put ourselves in. And now we have to now just finish it off and uh, be sober 
and 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 do the the best that we can to make sure that the team is in the next round. It's very important. It's very important for the players. It's important for the supporters. Very important, and it's important for the football club. It's 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 it's, it's of critical importance. So we have we know the magnitude of the responsibility, and that's why we can't make light of 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 uh, the next ninety minutes. We have to play against a very very good side. We beat a very good side in Algeria. We beat a, a side that's got uh, four or five Algerian internationals, and at the Algerian internationals, you 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 can pick whatever you want uh, to play, even in Europe. Uh, Mares plays in Europe, so if you are a Drauri in the midfield, Marezek in the midfield, uh, Belkatir, the right back, the number twenty-two, a starter, uh, Laoufi, a starter for the for the national team in in Afcon. Uh, can do we scored four goals against Algeria's number one can do he, he's a starter so you, you, you do we beat we beat a very good side a very very good side so a team that has that type of pedigree uh cannot be taken for for granted and so our preparations uh commence now uh, good rest lots of water uh and and then video analysis about some of the things here but yeah, yeah, barefooted walking, but let's not uh, let's not go too much into that space, and then we forget how magnificent the players were today. They were incredible today. Good fighting spirit and good, good personality mm, and, and brotherhood togetherness. Yeah, yeah. yeah.